know how to choose between and prepare different grain types and how they will perform as mushroom spawn? Well today, we'll be diving into our experience with each of the three main grain spawns used and giving you the information we use to determine what grains we spawn with here at 212 Mushrooms. We will explain how we prepare each of these grains for use, methods of sanitization, pros and cons of each grain type, and which of these grains is our personal preference. So we're going to start out with brown rice since this was the first grain we actually used ourselves. Brown rice can be prepared for inoculation relatively quickly and easily. This process is as follows. First you want to bring some water to a light boil and add in the brown rice. 5 to 10 minutes in the water will remove any additives or coatings from your grains. We are always sure to remove the rice from our water sooner rather than later, as if it stays in hot water for too long, the grains will begin to burst, making them less efficient for mushroom spawning. Once we have strained our rice, we are ready to separate it into our jars or bags, and it's now ready to be sterilized. As long as our rice grains haven't burst, but have all been submerged and strained lightly, the moisture levels will be correct. Brown rice is quick and easy to prepare, it is relatively affordable, and is readily available. On the other hand, it is easy to burst grains during the preparation phase, and the grains tend to clump together once colonized, but you can easily break it up with a spoon. Next we'll be talking about rye berries. There is a bit more involved in the preparation side with rye. First we're going to pour our rye into a decent sized container and submerge it in some water. Once we have our rye berries submerged, we mix them around for a moment or two, dump out the water, refill our container, and begin mixing the berries around again. We will repeat this process three to five times or until the water is consistently clear. Once our rye has been washed, we will add a third cup of gypsum per two pound of rye we use and allow our rye to soak in the water and gypsum for 12 hours. Now that that our rye has soaked up some moisture and nutrients, we are going to begin the drying process. For this step, we have put together some drying racks and we usually just put some rye on a rack and let it sit for 30 to 60 minutes, coming back to shake it around every 10 minutes. And lastly, we move on to wild bird seeds. The important thing to note with wild bird seed is that it needs both milo and millet present in the mix. Typically, these mixes will also contain black sunflower seeds, which will slow down your spawn rates. If you can find a mix that has what you need and does not have black sunflower seeds, perfect. If not, you can always remove them yourself later with relative ease as they will float to the top during the soaking process. Using bird seed begins with a good soak in water mixed with gypsum powder. We always want to be sure that the water in our container is high enough, well above the grains, and that the grains can soak for at least 12 hours but no longer than 24. Once our bird seed has been soaked, we are ready to begin drying it. We will again use our drying racks for this, and we recommend generating some airflow over the bird seeds as they tend to take a bit longer to dry. Once our bird seeds no longer feel wet to the touch and are not leaving behind moisture on our hands, they are at the proper moisture level. Now our bird seed is ready for jarring or bagging and sterilization. Bird seed is generally the cheapest of the grain types, can be bought almost anywhere, and its relatively small grain sizes allow for much more efficient grain-to-grain -grain transfers. On the other hand, it has a lengthy prep, it can contain totally useless materials, and its tendency to hold moisture paired with its small grain size make it easy for moisture levels throughout to be inconsistent, creating potential breeding points for mold. Hey guys, it's Peyton from 212 Mushrooms here to say I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, please leave a like down below. It lets us know that we need to put out more content like this. And without further ado, I hope you guys do have an amazing day.